Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. The William Lowell Putnam Mathematical Competition, or more commonly called the Putnam Competition, is an annual exam for undergraduate college students in the United States and Canada. You have three hours to solve six problems, and then another three hours to solve another six problems. That's a total of six hours for 12 questions, or an average of 30 minutes per problem. Each question is worth 10 points for a maximum of 120 points. But most people don't do that well. The average median score is about one point, even though the students taking it are generally really, really good at math. Most of the participants have spent hours and hours preparing for the exam, and they're willing to take an extra six-hour test on the first Saturday in December around the time of their other college final exams. So they're generally very dedicated students who take this exam. In this video, we'll focus on the 1978 Putnam exam, problem B1. A convex octagon inscribed in a circle has four consecutive sides of length three and four consecutive sides of length two. Find the area of the octagon. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So let's get started by sketching the shape. We have a circle and then we have four consecutive sides of length three and four consecutive sides of length two. I'll admit, this is about as far as I got with this problem because I could not figure out a way to deconstruct the shape into areas that I could solve. However, I like learning about these kinds of problems so that I can share interesting problem solving techniques with you. And this particular problem has a very elegant solution. The creative solution depends on slicing up the shape like a pizza. So we take the center of the circle and then we slice it up into triangles. And each of these lengths is the radius of the circle. So we now have a shape that consists of four isosceles triangles with side lengths r, r, and 3, and four isosceles triangles with side lengths r, r, and 2. The insight is that we can rearrange these triangles to create a new octagon with exactly the same area as the original octagon. So how can we do that? We'll take these green triangles and form a cross, and then we'll fill in the remaining areas with these yellow triangles. We now have an octagon with alternating side lengths of 3 and 2. So now how can we figure out the area of this shape? Well, again, you need to think outside the box. We'll create a square around this octagon. Now each of these corners is an isosceles right triangle, so each length here is the square root of 2. The rest of the lengths are 3. So we can calculate the area of the octagon is equal to the area of the square minus the area of four of these triangles. We can calculate each of these areas pretty routinely. The area of the square will be the area of a square with a side length of 3 plus 2 times the square root of 2. So we square the side length and we get 17 plus 12 times the square root of 2. We then calculate the area of one triangle as 1 half times the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which equals 1. So the area of the octagon will equal the area of the square minus 4 times the area of a triangle, and this simplifies to be 13 plus 12 times the square root of 2. And that's the answer. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, email me a puzzle or math topic, Presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And if you so choose, you can check out my books, which are linked in the video description. 
and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.